If you love the ISUPK, stay in the loop. Go to Google Play and download the new user-friendly One West ISUPK app and get exclusive footage to our online classes and street speaking videos. Also, the Black Watch podcast, hosted by Commanding General Yohanna, the leader of the Nation of Israel. It's real easy to stay in tune with the ISUPK and the information we're putting out. Just go to Google Play and type in One West UPK app and hit download. Let's get it in. Don't be left out. There's a law right now in California that has just been passed that allows men and women to sleep with 11-year-olds just as long as you're within a certain age of them. That is law right now. You may think it, it was at one point in time in this nation, it was disgusting for a man to lay with another man, a woman to lay with another woman. Right now, it is disgusting for, for anybody, any adult to lay with a child. In a few years from now, that idea will be no more. People believe that because you feel some times of change that we can do all manner of disgustingness. And the only thing that's all matter of discussing is, is what our so-called pastors, pimp pastors teach us. They're going to be teaching that it's okay to lie with a child. Just like they're saying it's okay to, if you're a man to lie with a man, or if you're a woman to lie with a woman. All of that is disgusting. Most, Christ told us, he is teaching us, if you want to enter into heaven, what? Keep the commandments. We need to keep the commandments. That's not what I said. That's what Christ said. That's written in red. Our teacher, our king, the perfect man that walked the earth, told us to keep all of the commandments. Read that one more time, Bob. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Why you calling me good? There is none good but one. And that is God. That is God. God is only good. Even though we say Christ is perfect, God is the only one. He's given all this credit. Everything that he's doing, all the people that are following him, love him. But he's saying, I ain't perfect, I, I'm not good. He's saying, I'm not good. God is good. God is good. That's what he is saying. But. If thou wilt enter into life. If you want eternal life, if you want to get into the kingdom of heaven, there's one thing you got to do. Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. That's what you got to do. That's it. Give me 1 John 2 and 5. 2 and 3. 1 John 2 and 3. Everything I'm telling you, I'm actually reading out the scripture. I'm telling you what, what the Most High had ordained and what Christ and all the prophets have been saying. That's right. From Genesis to Revelation, they said the same thing. They've been teaching the same thing. They just teach it a little differently. But it is the same exact thing. You may say something, you may say tomato, I may say tomato. We're talking about the same damn thing. We're talking about the same thing. That's what these prophets are saying. The same thing. Law has not been done away with. You cannot do whatever you want to do. You do whatever you want to do, you have your reward right here, right now. This is your heaven. You want to get high. You want to steal somebody's woman. You want to eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. You want to sell your brother and sister drugs. You want to do all manner, you want to, you want to uh, twerk on a stripping pole, man or woman. We got dudes doing that stuff now. What in the hell? Dudes twerking? Come on, man. Come on. All manner of, dis of disgustingness. Christ said, you do any of that, 
You got your reward right here. This is your reward, this is your heaven. I hope you like it. Because I hate, I hate this place. The Most High promised us royalty. The Most High promised us power. The Most High promised us justice. I ain't forgot. Ain't that what the dude said? I ain't forgot what y'all did. I, I remember. I remember all them lynchings. I remember all them riots. I remember the same thing. When we were in when we are in oppression, we are hungry, starving, and we're just trying to get something to eat, trying to get jobs, and you don't give it to us, and the only way we know how to do is act out violently, which I am not advocating. You call us, especially the pastors, you call us animals, you call us dogs, you call us beasts. However, when the Proud Boys come to town because they they man, they get elected. They do the very same thing. Not because they're hungry. Not because they ain't got jobs. Not because they can't rise in power. But because their part, their guy isn't in charge anymore. So what do they do? They come down to DC and beat up black women. What kind of a savage piece of scum are you? You are a coward. You, you, got, you got five and 10 men attacking one or two women, beating them up, stabbing them, knocking them out. Why? Because, because your guy lost. Because your guy lost, you gotta attack our women. You are a coward, you are disgusting. And, and anybody who follows anything that, that these guys do are just as bad, are just as culpable as, as, as those guys, stabbing women, beating women up, jumping women. Who does that? Who does that? Keep going. First John, chapter two, verse three. And hereby, we do know that we know him. This is how it, all the, all the uh, Christians say, I know my God, my God knows my heart, he knows me. He knows how I am. I know God, I have a close personal relationship with God. That's a, that's a damn lie. Our Christian pastors teach us that, that nonsense. I, I, can, I can almost accept, not even, I really can't accept, I can, I can almost stomach a woman saying that, having a close personal relationship with, with, with Christ, with God. But a man saying that, you are a disgusting, flaming, effeminate, disgusting little thing. What man has a close personal relationship with another man? Who says that? Who talks like that? The scripture says no effeminate will see the, the kingdom of heaven. That is some effeminate stuff right there. I have a close personal relationship. Are you serious? And you, we getting that from our pastors. Our pastors is teaching us this nonsense. But the scripture says this is how we know. This is how you know if we know Christ. If we know the Most High, right here, this is how we know. Read that from the top, one more again. And hereby, we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. If we keep his commandments. This is how I know who you say you are. You say you are a follower of Christ. I know you are a follower of Christ if you keep the commandments. That's what the scripture says. Read that one more time so, so that you actually hear what was going on. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Keep going. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments. Anybody who says, I know him, while picking, while having a, a, a toothpick, picking a pork out of their teeth, uh, uh, slathering, uh, getting their, their bib ready to crack open some, some, some lobster shells, some crab shells. Anybody who's on a DL, like, like, like so many of our brothers are, especially down in, in Atlanta, if, 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 if you say you know Christ, if you say you know Christ, keep going, and keep not his commandments, 
is a liar. You's a liar. I believe, I should believe nothing you say. If we going out to eat, and you ordering a bacon cheeseburger, or you ordering any uh, shrimp cocktail, you ordering any of this 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 uh, abomination, soft uh, soft shell crabs or whatever, because I don't eat that stuff. If you celebrating Thanksgiving, the murder of your brothers and sisters, the the, the Native Americans, you go and celebrating the murder of of of. Native Americans, if you celebrate Christmas, your birthday, you are a liar. That's coming from the scripture. Scripture says, if you say, when so many Christians say, I know God, I have a close personal relationship with him. You got a close personal relationship with somebody. It ain't the most high. It ain't Christ. It's somebody talking in your ear, telling you to do these things. You do have a close personal relationship with, with somebody, and it is not of God, it's not, it's not a spirit of, of, of the Most High. It is not that. You say you, are, you have a close personal relationship with the Most High, with Christ, and you eat pork. You a dope dealer. You kneeling down five times a day and praying to a rock. You go to that Christian church, you a liar. You are a liar. And those are not my words. I'm telling you exactly what the most what the most high is, is prophesied in this in the scripture. Our book. This is written for the Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see yourself on this side. This book is for you. This book is for you. Read that one more time. He that saith. I know him, and keep him, not his commandments, is a liar. He is a liar, and the truth is not with him. And the truth is not with him. The truth is not with him. You shouldn't believe anything he's saying. If you standing right here on this corner, and he, that, that same person that says they know Christ, but, but, but they're, they're sinning, they're, they're eating crit, uh, Pork, shirt, crab, lobster. They gang banging. They selling drugs. They sleeping with other men's women, and they they tell you that you in Chinatown. They still lying. I don't believe anything you say. You a liar. Right. Nothing that comes out your mouth is the truth. You are a liar. Every Christian pastor, every pope, every Catholic priest, every imam that teaches anything about the scripture are liars. That's right. Nothing we nothing they say we should believe. Nothing. Nada. Nothing. Anything that comes out their mouth is a lie. That's what the scripture says. Keep going. Okay. But whoso keepeth his word. Whoso keepeth his word and what is the word is is this. Is this in its satiety. This book, this document, everything from Genesis to Revelation and everything in between, not cherry picking, not picking this thing and that thing on this day and in that day. Everything that's in this scripture, he who keeps this word, in him thoroughly is the love of God perfected. Surely is the love of God perfected. The love of God is in that man, is in that woman. Anybody who keeps that word, any woman who, who fends off any brother who's trying to holler at them when she's married, she knows she's married, you lay with a woman, that is your wife. You are not to throw away. If a woman lays with a man, you are, you are his, hus his wife for life. That's what the scripture says. If that woman chooses that man, she fends off every other, every man throughout her life, until death. She is a righteous woman. I mean, that's just one part of it. That's just one part of it. Anybody who, who, uh, who don't eat shrimp, pork, grass, all this stuff is easy. All of this stuff is easy. But we, we don't think it's easy, why? Because we see our oppressor 
doing all manner of wickedness. And because we think, we think that, that, that all this stuff that they're doing is something good. We, we want to do that stuff. Well, we lost our kingdom because we did that stuff. We are kept from our kingdom because we continue to do what the Most High is telling us not to do. To us, uh, to, to the Most High right now, we are liars. The truth is not in us because we do not keep his commandments. That is our doing. That is our bed that we're making. He's telling us. He's told us time and time again. All we have to do is open up the book and read. You do not understand it? Come seek understanding. But I'm telling you, every Christian pastor does not have your good, your good uh, intention at, at a hand. All they want is two things. They want your money and they want your booty. That's what they want. They don't, they don't want anything else. They are disgusting dogs. You need to find a leader like Commander General Yohanna who has given up everything, sacrificed his life for this truth so that he can wake up brothers and sisters to follow the Most High. You ask, you ask your Christian pastor uh, if you can't pay your rent. He gonna tell you to go and pray about it. All the meanwhile, he, as, as he's driving away in his uh, $90,000 car, off to his $500,000 house, gated community, where he's sending his kids off to private school. You can't pay a $900 a month rent. Why? Because you're giving him all your money. And he's telling you to pray about it. That's not the leader Commander General Yohanna is. Commander General Yohanna has given his life, has given everything he has to build up this nation. When I say build up this nation, I'm not talking about America. I'm talking about the people who are on this side. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. He is the, the, the true standard we have on earth right now that is willing to sacrifice everything he has so that we can, can, can uh, clean ourselves up. He is a shining example. There is no other example outside the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Right. Nowhere else you will find the truth. Nowhere else you will you find brotherhood, true brotherhood. You will not find it. You will not find it. Leave your woman around your best friend if you want to and see what I'm talking about. Right. Keep reading. Come, come, come. But whoso keepeth his word in him verily is the love of God perfected. The love of God is perfected in him. Give me Romans 6 and 1. The love of God is perfected in him. Why? Because he kept the word. Why do we call uh, Christ perfect? Why do we call Christ? And everybody agrees Christ is perfect. Everybody agrees he was, he was perfect. He did no wrong. Why was he perfect? Because he kept the commandments. From his youth until he was lynched, he kept the, he kept the commandments. Right now, he is sitting at the right hand of the Most High, which tells you he is not God. I don't know why we believe what our Christian pastors tell us that, that God and Christ is the same person when they say he's sitting at the right hand of God. Right. That sounds schizophrenic. Why do we believe such fairy tales? You believe that, you might as well believe in Santa Claus. How is Santa Claus getting into your apartment when you ain't got no uh, uh, fireplace? People in the hood ain't got no fireplace. How, 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 we get, how is he getting in our place? You believe Christ and God is the same, uh, the same person you believe in uh, Santa Claus and Easter Bunny. And I got a bridge that, that, that I can sell to you. Read what you got. Romans chapter six, verse one. What shall we say then? What shall we say then? This is a question people oppose, or uh, Paul is posing. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? Shall we continue in sin? Shall we just keep breaking the law continually over and over and over again? Even though Christ died so that we do not have to sin? That, that, we, that Christ died so that we can actually have a way back to truth? Back to, uh, to, to royalty? Back to, to positions of power? 
Should we continue in sin now that grace is here? Because Christ died for us. He gave his, his sacrifice is the reason why many of us are walking the earth right now with that cigarette in our hand, with that weed or, or, or that heroin in our pocket or in our system, on our way to the stripper pole, trying to make it rain on somebody, on somebody's wife. Christ gave us that opportunity to stop all of that disgustingness. Everything that I just said and so much more that we do on a daily basis. Some of us do it on an hourly basis. There is some of us that cannot wake up in the morning and relieve ourselves without getting high. That's how destroyed we are. Christ died so that you can get back, get yourself together and throw all of that nonsense away before you get punished. And when, and when the Most High punishes you, there is no punishment on earth. There is, there, there is no thing on earth or in heaven that can save you except the Most High. And the reason why we are getting punished like that is because simply because we are disobeying everything that he says. Read, read that one more time. Romans chapter 6 verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? We all got uh, uh, bills that we need to pay. We all got them bills, them, them continual bills. Keep the lights on, cable on, phone, whatever, internet. Every bill we have, that company gives us a grace period. Gives us time to get ourselves together, get the money up so that we can actually pay without having a penalty. The Most High says, the Most High says that you, the, 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 the death, the sacrifice of Christ is that grace period. He is that, he, give, he has given us that grace period. If we don't come clean, get, get, gather ourselves up and get clean according to what the Most High says is clean, not what man says, because man is a liar. He has proven that time and time again. If we do not get clean according to what the Most High says, grace will run out. That penalty will kick in. You keep smoking weed, you will lose a lung. Simple. You keep smoking cigarettes, you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose limbs, you're gonna lose your teeth. Things will start failing you. You will lose, you, you, will, you will not be able to walk up a flight of stairs without getting winded. You will not be able to hold a conversation without getting winded. You will have to have a, a, a hole in your throat just so that you can breathe and talk. You keep getting high, your, your, your veins will, will, will uh, erode. You sleep with different women and throw them away. Women, you sleep with different men and throw them away and not stay with them, you will get diseases. You will get diseases. You will die. That's what will happen. You think grace will, will, will keep us safe forever? Grace will run out. Grace will run out. Give, drop me down to 16, uh, 15. We keep doing what we think is cool and what we think is right. Grace will run out. And once that grace run out, that penalty will kick in. Sometimes we, we can afford to pay that penalty. That penalty may be, may be light, going to jail for, for a year. Maybe light, but what, what's gonna happen in there? You keep doing what you're doing, you may never leave, that, that penalty will get stiffer. You may, never, you may never get the opportunity to clean yourself up again. You have an opportunity right now to clean yourself up. Christ gave us this opportunity to clean ourselves up so that we can come back to the most high. Keep going. Romans chapter six, verse 15. What then shall we sin because we are not under the law? Like I, I brought out before, Christ, our teacher, the person who we, who we claim to be a follower of, said that the law has never been done away with. So why are we saying the law is done away with? Read that from the top one more time. Okay. What then shall we sin because we are not under the law? 
We are under, so he said, should we sin because we're not under the law? Keep going. But under grace. But under grace, like I said, Christ died for uh, to, to give us that grace period. Because we're under grace, should we continue to sin? God forbid. Hell no. Sparks eats. I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious. Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you, but it's four of us. They always scream squad, but loyalty just mean more to us. Let the 40s bust when it's time, unleash the hunters. I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners. Niggas with weak right hooks turn into gunners. Soldiers in abundance, marching in by the hundreds. We don't hold no punches, we letting them go in bunches. Crawled up out the dungeons and now we do it humongous. Waiting on a hater to flex, we do and lunges. Rappers better give me respect, this beat punished. Really, I don't worry about credit or where it's due. Just know your favorite rapper, told it I'm number two. Camp full of animals like I'm running the zoo. Call me Tyler Warhol, either call me the Jew. Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule. Only sharks swim here, rappers get out the pool. Only real spitters can wait in this type of water. A renaissance coming, we cutting your time shorter. You had a good while to get your fares in order.